Okay, Scopeso here again, and I've got another guitar video. We've done a lot of, well, a couple of Gibson things. Back to some Fender stuff. Yay! Okay, so this is a guitar I bought um, as a present to myself when I got my tax return a year or so ago, a couple of years ago maybe. Um, it's one of these, it's a great old butterscotch Fender Telecaster, I think it's a, a professional, um, professional 2, American professional 2, so it's, it's a made in the USA jobby. Uh, Corona, California, um, and I bought this basically to hang on to, um, and something to give my kids, especially my youngest one, he's a bit older because he likes guitar a whole lot, and I think this could be a really great instrument for him as he grows. Um, so, it's a beautiful butterscotch job, brass saddles here that are compensated, uh, really nice pickups. Can't remember what these are. They're great. I'll have a look it up and I'll, I'll try and type it in on screen somewhere. Uh, Three-way switch with a, a little knob that does a, a groovy thing. Uh, when it's in the middle position, it sort of puts them in and out of phase. So that's kind of neat. There's an extra sound there. Um, I'm not usually into that sort of extra stuff with Telecasters. I like the, I like simple guitars. I've got a lot of one pickup. Well, not a lot, but I have you know, like three, one, four, one pickup guitars, because they're simple. Telecasters are also very simple, but, um, and that's what I like about them. So this maple fret, maple fretboard, maple neck, I should say, uh, trash rod is up here, which is good. It's not down here like a lot of the sort of 50 spec jobbies are. The bridge is great. It's got this sort of piece cut away here and it's really smooth like if you get a lot of the Mexican and uh, sort of lower end fendery ones have a very rough sort of bridge my old Nashville telly is rough as guts down here and I used to cut my hands on it quite a bit because of the way I play with the fingers and so on um, this is smooth as and I've never hurt myself playing this it's got the the heel if I show you, I'll bring it up to the camera a little bit. The heel cut away there. Honestly, I don't see much difference between this and 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 uh, and an ordinary old heel on a neck heel on a Fender Telecaster. But I maybe I just don't spend enough time up there to really notice it. Um, I know a lot of guys like that comfort cut. It's got no belly cut or anything like that. It's an uh, ash body. No, it's not an ash body, it's um, pine, I think, roasted pine. Maybe I'm wrong about that, it might be older. But it looks nice anyway. I really should know these things before I make the video. Uh, it's got the old 70, 75 year decal there. Decal, decal, whatever you call it. Uh, nice tuners, closed off, so not the old fashioned kind. Uh, the pickup... Pole pieces are not staggered, they're all flush. Uh, but it sounds cool. It's got a, a three ply, one, two, three ply pick guard. I, own, I really like the old one plies. They, they've, they've got, they don't have the bevel on, cut into them like these do. For some reason I like that, I don't know why. Uh, it sounds really good, let's give it a play. Let's do that, and I'll take some picky wickies while, while it's here. The knobs here are not domed so much. They've got a bit of a curve to them, but they're, they're not quite flat knobs and they're not quite dome knobs. I've got really dome knobs on the Japanese 50s job in there, which is just a work of art. Um, 
So it's got some, a lot of modern, what people like to say would be improvements. Whether they are or not is, is just dependent on your attitude towards it, I guess. Me, I think it's a great little guitar. Oh, and you can also top load this. So that wasn't it. This is it now. You can top load this as well, which I haven't done, but I may do one day. I know a lot of people think that's sacrilege, but um, it just depends what you like, really, doesn't it? It's got. It came with this really great case too, uh, and some case candy. You get this uh, bag thingy here has a nice Fender logo on it and a little shirt of authenticity. That's pretty cool. Um, a neat little booklet, startfender.com. This guy looks like he's having a great time. Uh, anyway, that, that never happened to me when I played any gigs. I probably don't have enough tattoos. Um, what is this? Oh, warranty stuff, which I haven't filled out. Probably should. And check out that old photo. That's, look at that. That's pretty neat. So, like that. And what else have we got in here? I've never really looked in this bag, to tell the truth. Neat sticker. Never used those. Little cover for the bridge. Probably won't ever use that either. And a couple of, um, what do you call them? Hex wrenches, Allen wrenches, whatever they're called. All still in the bag. So, yay, super duper. That's pretty cool. And if you want to put some pencils in there, you could too, I suppose. But I won't put all this stuff back in there. You know, lock it away nice and tight for the little bloke. Um, I just think of all this stuff's pretty neat. Um, it's funny. The, the guitar. Um, buying. Well, I don't collect, but uh, the guitar. I mean, this, this guitar is not really for me. It's for my, for my son, as I said. I have another one for my other son. So I'll do a review on that one too later. But I hope you're enjoying these. I'm going to play this now. We'll plug it into the Jewel Showman. We'll use the um, Boss uh, SD1, I think it is, or SD2, whatever it is I use normally. SD1. We'll use that and we'll have a play. Super duper. Okay, so we might not turn this down for a tick. So it's a couple other things I forgot to tell you. It's got this hole in the back. So that's so you can tilt the neck a little bit. I don't fiddle around with that because it was set up really well out the store. I haven't really had a problem with a fender I bought from a shop. Uh, Except one, actually. But the problem that I had with that one kind of added to the character of it. But anyway, I'm going to try and play something chill and groovy. So I've got the overdrive plugged in, but I probably won't turn it on just for a little while yet. Uh, sorry about the noise outside. It's Saturday, so everyone's driving past my house. Anyway, let's give it a go. Uh, I better turn this up. See if I can play something. I was playing something before.
pick up except for my plane that sounds pretty good um let's do the the middle the middle uh position and it's i haven't pushed the little uh double tap button here whatever that what do you call that thing but we'll keep that straight for now and you can hear some of the, the hear some of the uh the middle that same thing but with the this button let's try that okay sounds like a Les Paul a little bit um, which is cool be able to get that out of it but uh, some uh, bridge sounds because the bridge pickups are really nice on this too uh, let's turn that back up uh, yeah let's do something like that <laughs> Uh, 
especially drenched in reverb as I have it. Um, so that's a fun one. How about a little bit of the, the distortion? We'll try that and see what we can make of that. I don't know. I'll play something cheesy. Let's do that. I might just turn that down. It's, it's going to blow my head off. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> up but just a touch try that again let's try that again This is for anyone that wants an American Pro 2 uh, Telecaster. Great little piece of kit and uh, good luck with everything and toodaloo and I'll see you next time. Bye.